let's return to This Week in America. Here's your host, Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody. Coast to Coast, This Week in America. Yvonne Brown's beautifully written book, Words to Enhance the Soul, second edition, is an intimate exploration of love, spirituality, and emotion throughout the course of her life. This book dares to show readers how they can reflect on their own experiences, a collection of quotes, poems, and affirmations that are designed to help readers develop a more positive mindset and overcome challenges. Yvonne e. White Brown was born in Jamaica. She's from a family of 14 siblings, 13 from the same mother and father who were married for over 65 years. A high school champion in track and field, she represented Jamaica in various track meets abroad and was also on the Jamaica Olympic teams in the Munich Olympic, Germany, 1972. A diploma in music and physical education, a Bachelor of Science degree in business administration. Yvonne is a writer, a preacher, a real-life coach who has dedicated her life to helping others find their purpose and live their best lives. She's a multi-talented author who has written several books, including her powerful memoir that we talked about here on This Week in America, A Journey Through My Life, a children's book titled Short Stories, and the book we're talking about today, Words to Enhance the Soul. A pleasure to welcome back to This Week in America, celebrated author Yvonne E. Brown. Yvonne, welcome back to the program. Thank you. Thank you for having me again. It is our pleasure. It's so much to talk about with the new book. And I want this is exciting news. The official launch for the book, Words to Enhance the Soul, will be at the London Book Fair 2024. Uh, the book and media exhibit hosted by Best Books Media, your book media designer. So the kickoff for this book, uh, book will be in London. Exciting times for, for Yvonne back on our program. Could you sort of give us a brief overview? I tried, but give us a better overview of words to enhance the soul and what readers can expect from this new release from you. Um, words to enhance the soul, second edition, is an intimate exploration of love, spirituality, and emotion during the course of my life. It will help readers to reflect on their lives. And it will also help readers to have a more positive mindset and to overcome challenges in their lives. Allow yourself sometimes as you're sometimes as you're reading words to enhance the soul because you'll be reflecting, you will be thinking, the words will be inspirational. This is a great book to have in your library that you can go back to and refer from time to time as we go through all of those elements of life where we need to be uh, re-nourished and we can go back and, and do that with Yvonne's book, Words to Enhance the Soul. The book is described as encouraging, uplifting, how do you define these qualities in the context of, of, of your poetry? One of these quotes can be seen as God is truly a tower of strength to me. And um, he has shielded me with his power. He has um, sustained me with his bounty and he has protected me with his might. And another one is that, isn't it a lovely feeling when your husband, for whom you have been married to for quite a number of years, look at you and tell you that you are beautiful and that he is in love with you? That is so nice to to hear those words, especially after uh, after so many years. And a good message for us husbands to learn as well the power of of saying those words. You may be thinking those, but it's okay to verbalize those from time to time and to uh, to share your feelings with the uh, with your spouse. Our guest on the program is Yvonne E. Brown. Our website is YvonneBrownBooks.com. You'll find the book available, the books available at Amazon, the usual places, and of course at Yvonne's website, YvonneBrownBooks.com. You can get an autographed copy there as well. We'll give you all that information. It's on our website as well. What personal experiences or beliefs inspired you to infuse positivity into your poetry and explore the I want to say the transformative power of words, and you do that so well. What uh, what personal experiences brought you to this point? Well, my personal experience is, is when 
I have interacted with some young people and some adults, and what I have seen and read in the media, and I've seen the hopelessness in some people, it moves me to write this book, Words to Enhance the Soul, so that people could have a more positive mindset and to help them to overcome their challenges and have a more fulfilling life. This is a very appropriate title. Sometimes the title doesn't really reflect the message in the book. In this case, with Yvonne's book, the title Words to Enhance the Soul, that's exactly what this book is about. Uh, Yvonne, can you share maybe a, a specific moment in your life when you realize the, the profound impact words can have on transforming emotions or perspectives? You do such a wonderful job with words. You use them in a, in a magical way. Was there an experience where you, you realized the power of words can, can get you through some difficult times? Yes. Um, my husband, my late husband, who was much older than I, he didn't want to go anywhere to any function or anything. So I reasoned with him and that changed his mindset. And he started taking me out. And, um, and this makes our life more fulfilling and rewarding. It certainly does. And again, another lesson for everybody listening. On the, We sort of get in a routine and sometimes it's difficult to break out of that routine. All of this uh, comes to mind as, as you're reading the wonderful words in Words to Enhance the Soul by Yvonne Brown, our guest on the program today. Yvonne, how do you hope readers will connect with the, the positive messages in your book? And, and what impact do you hope to uh, aspire to have on the, on the lives of other people? What do you hope the takeaway is? I hope that it will, um, they will connect by seeing the positive messages and have their mindset change and that it will have... Um, a positive influence on their lives, causing their lives to be more fulfilling. And that will, that will be the outcome when you read Words to Enhance the Soul. Again, this is something you need to, to take some time. You need to really absorb what's in Yvonne's book and uh, to have it there for, for future reference. I hate to ask if you have a favorite poem, but we don't have six hours to go through all of them. So I'm going to ask, do you have a particular favorite poem from the new edition that you find, well, for you, particularly uplifting? And, and what makes it special to you? And if you would, read it for us, please. Yes, one of my special poems is Reflection. And this is special to me because of the kind of life that I live. And I will read it. It makes me so much aware of how I'm living my life and why wouldn't I change? And this is reflection. If I had the chance to live my life over again, I would live it exactly as I did. I like the way in which I showed my kindness by doing things for the aged and helpless. I like the way I showed compassion by visiting the sick and destitute and cheering them up with a tender smile and encouraging words. I like the way I was helpful by assisting those who requested my help. I like the way in which I was honest by speaking the truth always and dealing fairly with everyone. I like the way in which I was loving by giving love with all my heart. I like the way in which I was friendly by being friendly at all times. I like the way in which I was courteous by showing courtesy at all times. I like the way I smiled because it warmed my heart and that of others. And I like the way I live a straight God fearing, prudent, and intelligent life. So if I had to live my life over, I would live it just the way I did. 
That is so well done, so well said, so well read. You should do an audio book of this and and have your voice there with uh, uh, delivering those messages. And as I said in the beginning, when you you hear about uh, Yvonne's experiences, which she brings to life so well with with her words, we have a tendency to reflect as well the the name of that poem, and we we put ourselves in that position, and we go back and we look at our and reassess our own experiences. It is so well done. One example of many in the word uh, book "Words to Enhance the Soul" by Yvonne E. Brown, our our guest on the program. Yvonne, beyond personal enjoyment, do you see your work as a tool for empowering and uh, encouraging others? And if so, in, in what ways? How do you hope this has an impact on their lives? Yes, I see my work as a tool for empowering and encouraging others. In that, from the words written, I hope that readers could see themselves as being capable of doing something to uplift or enhance their lives. They will realize that everybody has a gift which they can earn a living from. And they can live their lives in a positive way so that others can emulate them. And today we live in a fast-paced world. It's often a challenging world. How do you think poetry, the power of words, can contribute to cultivating maybe a more positive mindset? Because once we step out in the real world, it comes at us about 100 miles an hour. How can poetry sort of slow things down for us and give us a more positive mindset? I think that if the poems are written by using positive words or ex- This will help readers and listeners to cultivate a more positive mindset. When they hear these always bombarding on them, it will eventually change their mindset and they will have a more positive mindset. I believe that. The positiveness of writing poems, words. One of the words that you use is celebrating resilience, and that's a word we hear so much about, but it, you bring it to life and you give us examples in your book, Words to Enhance the Soul. Your poetry often touches on themes of resilience. How do you believe resilience contributes to the transformative process, and, and how is it celebrated in your book? Um, I believe that Resilience um, can contribute to the transformative process in that if you experience anything that is negative, you shouldn't waste your time on that. You should right away put some positive thoughts in your mind and that will do away with the negativity. And this can be seen in one of my poems, this is celebrated in Of Dreams and Nightmares. The book we're talking about specifically is Words to Enhance the Soul, second edition, new from our guest back on the program, Yvonne E. Brown. I mentioned uh, the other books, A Journey Through My Life. We had a chance to talk about her powerful memoir on a previous program. By the way, if you go to our archives or just Google it, you can have a chance to, to listen to Yvonne's story and a children's book that she's written called Short Stories, and this book that we're focusing on, Words to Enhance the Soul. And Yvonne, I mentioned in the beginning, and I love this, launching at the London Book Fair. Talk about how exciting that is, what significance this event holds for you. This is an international launch of your book, Words to Enhance the Soul. It has to be an exciting time for you. Yes, it feels very exciting. And... I can say that it's very gratifying. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. It's very gratifying, and I'm looking forward to it. As you do this, are there interactive, engaging elements planned for the book launch event to involve readers in the, the celebration of positivity? Uh, we participate by reading. Are there other, other activities to incorporate them in this? I am not quite sure at this moment. I have to consult with Don Michael. Well, you've got some time, and I know they've got some big plans. Uh, yeah, on how to interact with uh, with the, the readers. That's the upcoming London Book Fair. This book will be featured yes. there. 
I, you've got words for, for challenging times. And again, these are challenging times. Living in a world where we face numerous challenges, how can the words in your book serve as a source of comfort and encouragement during these difficult times? They did for you. How will that work for us? Uh, but I, I believe that um, it will work for others. It has worked for me by um, if people or readers um, memorize some of these positive words and, and they can say them as a daily affirmation. That works. This is and all we... through difficult times. Yes, and you do such a wonderful job using words to, that we can all relate to, beautifully written, that will get us through the challenging times in, uh, in our lives and have us reflect on the positive times. In, in working on the book, uh, you work with designers to make sure the visual elements of the book complement and enhance the positive messages w- within the poetry. Talk about that collaborative process and where the video version of this, and by the way, it's up on YouTube. It's available at our website, thisweekinamerica.us. We see the beautiful color of, of the book, beautifully illustrated, as in the case of all of your books. How important is that to, to collaborate, have the, the illustrations reflect the messages of the book? Yes, the illustrations do reflect the messages. And I've collaborated with Dan Michael and about it. And it, the reflection do reflect the message, yes. We probably have aspiring writers that are listening to the interview and thinking, I would love to write a book. I would love to have the success that Yvonne is having with the books that she has written. What advice would you give to them? You, you started at one point and, and what you went through and the, uh, the motivation you had to finish the project and to do it so well and guide it to help other people through their lives. What advice would you give to aspiring writers? I would tell them, to write positive words and let the words flow from their hearts. And that they could use their experience to write and that they can believe that they have the power to influence and have other people mindset change. But the most important thing to let the words flow from their hearts and the words should be positive. So much to talk about. Time going so quickly. Our guest back on the program is Yvonne E. Brown. Her book is Words to Enhance the Soul. Talk a little bit about how you believe words have the power to transform and uplift our lives. You do such a wonderful job of picking the right words. I don't know what that process is like for you, but it's a gift that you're able to uh, describe the thoughts, the emotions, that you're trying to present to us. How do you believe words have the power to transform it and uplift our lives? And sometimes it's so simple as just several words that can motivate us. Um, I have the, that personal experience. Sometimes a few times in my life, I feel a bit down. And when I reflect on that God's love for me is great. God loves me very much. That, caused me that uplift my spirit when I remember that um, poem that I've written that God's love for me is really great and and I've seen this when I was teaching and when I gave my student assignment to do and sometimes they do not do them correct they are not correctly done half of the way it's done correctly, half it's not done correctly. And I would tell them that their work is not quite right, but they are coming along. And using the word coming along, I could see the face would lit up. And whenever time I give them assignment, they would do put double effort in doing the assignment correctly. And I've seen that by using just, you're coming along and their face would lit up. 
as yours is, and, and the video, you'll see this in the video portion, as you're talking about this, the power of the teacher to be able to guide these people. And once you see that aha moment where they're clicking, they're understanding what the message is, and it could be even life altering for them, the power of, uh, of the teacher and being able to get this, this message across. Is there a personal experience that you can share where the power of words played a significant role in transforming a challenging situation into something positive in your life. You talked briefly about that, but there have been times, haven't there, where words have gotten you through difficult circumstances. Yes. Um, there are times, yes. And um, I just meditate on the word and I use the appropriate words, positive words, and they have gotten me through difficult times. I try to um, not to think negatively. I always try to think positively. When I am being confronted or my thought, whatever is coming through is negative, I start thinking of positive words, and that helps me to overcome whatever negativity tried to engulf my thoughts. That's interesting I, because we all have these thoughts that come into our mind and they're not necessarily motivational or uplifting, are they? They are negative thoughts. And what Yvonne is saying, and I'm making notes, I'm sure that you as you're listening are making notes, at least mental notes if you're driving as well, is to replace those with the, the positive words, the words that can be uh, uplifting in your life. A couple of minutes left on the program. Let's talk a little bit about the takeaway, the bottom line. When you do this, what do you hope someone will uh, will take away after reading Words to Enhance the Soul, the, the second edition, the one that's just out, the one that's launching at the London Book Fair? What do you hope the takeaway is? And again, I mentioned this is really long-lasting. It's more than just reading a book and putting it away. This can be with you for your lifetime, can it? Yes. I hope that they will um, eventually develop a very positive mindset and see life as something beautiful that they can um, influence other people by the way, by the example that they set, and that it, and that the words could. Um, in, um, let them live a more fulfilling and rewarding life. I mentioned but, the books that you have written and this new book, Words to Enhance the Soul. What are you working on now? Or do you have another book that's uh, in progress? Yes, I have three books that are not published as yet, that I've written, and they are not, they are not published as yet. And they have also uplifting words in them well i'm glad to hear that because you motivate me you motivate others and that gives us three more chances that we can talk so we can have uh, <laughs> have programs and talk about what you've got in the books this book is is new it's available words to enhance the soul you'll find it at yvonnebrownbooks.com Amazon, the usual places. You can actually go to Yvonne's website and order uh, autograph copies of the book. And while you're there, A Journey Through My Life, or memoir, uh, a children's book titled Short Stories. There is so much here. This is a book that's uh, almost a must in your home library that will get you through the words. Sometimes we can't come up with the right words. Well, Yvonne can and has and has those in the new book. The book is Words to Enhance the Soul. I'd like to thank Best Book Media, your book media designer, for arranging our conversation once again today with Yvonne. Yvonne, it's been a pleasure to have you on the program. Thank you for joining us once again. Uh, have fun with uh, the London Book Fair coming up, a great kickoff to, uh, to Words to Enhance the Soul. It's always a pleasure. Thank you for spending some time with us today. And thank you for having me. It is our pleasure, Yvonne E. Brown, our guest, her newest book, Words to Enhance the Soul, the book available all over the, wherever books are sold online, bookstores, YvonneBrownBooks.com, and you'll find that link directly on our website, thisweekinamerica.us, and we are back on today's program right after these messages. 
This Week in America is online. You can visit our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Scott Pinkerton, associate producer of This Week in America. Jay Anderson, segment producer. Ben Watson, webmaster. Otto Bechet, director of engineering and TV production. This Week in America produced and is a trademark of Blue Funk Broadcasting, LLC. For information on all of our guests and to listen to this week's show, our website again, thisweekinamerica.us. And I'm Sean Bratton, executive producer of This Week in America.